I charge your boy Fro. And today I'm going to be talking about the films that I got to watch in May 2024. Now, I had to skip over last month's or April's addition to my monthly watches because I had a bunch going on and I just had absolutely no time to get that video done. But moving on to May, this is the first time that I had to skip over a month since I started this channel. But let's do it. This one's going to be short and sweet. And here we go. Here's a couple films that I got to watch. Starting with Boiling Point, starring Stephen Graham. Now, I was a big fan of this movie. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I reviewed it fully if you want to give it a watch on my channel. But Stephen Graham puts in a fantastic performance as always. And the acting all across the board is some of the most natural pieces of acting that I've seen in a film. Damn near gave it a 10 out of 10. It is a little bit slow at parts, but the, the use of one take from beginning to end, one hour and 30 minutes of a complete one take, nobody messes up their mark, everybody is completely adapted to the screen, everybody does a great job. Boiling point, check it out when you get a chance, it's on Tubi. Next up, we have a movie called Dead Air, starring one of my favorite actors, Bill Moseley. Now, I did like this one for the most part. Right off the bat, though, I have to admit that this movie isn't shot with a bigger scale of a budget, and it's really noticeable while you're watching. But for the most part, we're following Bill Moseley playing this radio personality who's an asshole. But we start to like him more and feel a bit sorry for him as the film goes along. And he's broadcasting the attacks that's happening outside. There's a zombie frenzy going on. And admittedly, we don't see much zombie action. And it's when it happens, it's not graphic or it's not too crazy. We've seen way gorier, way more violent zombie films. For the most part, we're following Bill Mosley and the radio team inside the station. And having a great actor like Bill Mosley and a decent supporting cast, I do like Patricia Tallman, who played my favorite version of Barbara in Night of the Living Dead. The violence is okay. Like, I'm... I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, but I did enjoy following the main character. We do have two characters that are pretty much shoehorned into the movie. They're two terrorists that are trying to carry out their biological or chemical attack. That's one of the main reasons behind the zombies in the film. So it's take it or leave it, and I felt like the movie could have been fine with or without them because I was very invested into the radio characters. For the most part, I did like Dead Air. I thought this was a pretty cool watch, and I remember coming across it on a sci-fi channel, but I just never got to fully finish it. And um, I, I would say a decent time. This is another one that you can catch on Tubi as well. Now we're moving on to what I thought was going to be a complete dumpster fire, and we get pretty close to it. But I got to admit that there were very tiny, tiny enjoyable things or qualities that I liked about this movie. And we're talking about Michael Jackson searching for Neverland, a lifetime movie. The guy playing Michael Jackson is absolutely terrible. And excuse me if I get the guy's ethnicity wrong, but I felt like it, this was an Asian dude playing Michael Jackson, and it was very noticeable with his dialect and the way that he was speaking. The accent would pop out sometimes. I'm like, if this guy is Michael Jackson, then I'm Prince. The one person that was saving this viewing just a bit for me was Chad L. Coleman, who I am a fan of. You might recognize him as Tyrese in the Walking Dead series or as the voice behind Coach in Left 4 Dead 2. Here he plays Michael Jackson's primary bodyguard. And again, any time that we're following him and not really Michael, the movie does jump up a bit for me, but I still give it a very low rating that I'm going to save for a full review someday. But for the most part, you're not going to like this movie pretty much at all. If you're a fan of Michael Jackson, you'll be throwing your hat at the screen for the most part. But Chad L. Coleman, I do have to give a shout out to the rest of the movie. Oh, man. But Madam Web is not only the worst movie that I've seen this year so far, it's one of the worst movies that I've seen in my life, easily. And if you want to check out my full thoughts on Madam Web, I got a review on my channel. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. That's what I got to catch in May 2024, and I'm on to the next review. I'm going to finish up my Left 4 Dead One Piece, and that's it. Thank you for watching, Fro.